A meniscus is one of the most important structures inside your knee, but many patients don't realise how vital a meniscus is for their knee health. It's the true unsung hero of your knee. Unfortunately, a meniscus is also very fragile and meniscal tears are common injuries. In fact, a meniscal tear is one of the most common conditions that I see and treat. The best treatment for a meniscal tear varies hugely between one patient and the next. Now treatment depends upon your age, the type of meniscal tear, your health history, and whether or not you also have arthritis within your knee. To fully understand what a meniscus actually does, I need to explain some basic concepts. In a normal knee bone, the end of the thigh bone or femur and top of the shin bone or tibia are covered in a smooth, spongy substance called articular cartilage. Now inside a living knee joint, it looks beautifully smooth and white. It's actually quite soft and spongy when a surgeon touches it with a probe. Articular cartilage creates a smooth surface that enables your joints to glide. If you didn't have articular cartilage, you would literally have bone grinding on bone. It also acts like a cushion protecting the bone beneath. Now a meniscus is shaped like a horseshoe and it sits in between the articular cartilage of the thigh bone and shin bone. There are two of these inside your knee, one on the outer side called the lateral meniscus and one on the inner side called the medial meniscus. Now a meniscus is made from a rubbery type of cartilage called fibrocartilage. Unlike the articular cartilage that is firmly attached to the thigh and shin bone, a meniscus is a lot more mobile within your joint. Incredibly, a meniscus absorbs 70 to 90% of the force that goes through your knee joint. It also plays an important role in stabilizing your knee. Without a meniscus, the articular cartilage is exposed to more shock than it can cope with, and it becomes arthritic. So the meniscus really is the best friend of the articular cartilage. So think of somebody bouncing up and down on a trampoline. The mat of the trampoline is acting just like a meniscus. It is absorbing the shock as you land, preventing your body from taking all the force. Now imagine the mat of that trampoline tearing, and now it can't absorb the force anymore. A meniscus is exactly the same. As soon as it tears, it can no longer protect the articular cartilage. The cartilage then begins to gradually wear away. A loss of articular cartilage is the crucial first step in the development of arthritis. Without the smooth gliding and cushioning from the articular cartilage, the bone beneath becomes bruised, swollen and painful. Now most people tend to think of bone as being dry and lifeless, like a skeleton in a museum. However, inside your body, bone is very much alive. It's full of blood and it bleeds when it becomes bruised. Your bones also have a rich nerve supply, and that's why arthritis can be very painful. Now arthritis, in itself, is quite a complex topic. If you'd like to learn more, then have a look at the specific arthritis video that is also on my website. We tend to think of arthritis as only occurring in elderly people. However, it's not uncommon for me to see arthritis in a younger patient's knee after a meniscal injury and some of these patients are only school-aged. So this shows you just how important a meniscus is for your knee health. If you have a meniscal injury early in your life, then your knee has to function without shock absorption for a longer period of time. Younger patients are also more active and put their knee through more stress. A meniscal tear for a teenager could be a life-changing injury, whereas the same meniscal tear for a 60-year-old would not be anywhere near as problematic. There are two main types of meniscal injuries. Acute meniscal tears that occur in younger patients with an otherwise healthy knee, and degenerative meniscal tears that occur in older patients with some knee arthritis. Each of these meniscal tears has a very different treatment pathway. If you would like some specific advice about your meniscal injury, then I'd be more than happy to see you for a consultation. Remember, every patient is different so it's important that we look at your scans, examine your knee, and also talk about your symptoms and health history. If you haven't had appropriate scans, I can arrange for those to occur before I see you.